Hey guys, it's Emma's Crafts, and for today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing mermaid tears, and you're going to be needing blue, um, um, what are they called again? Um, blue beads, or whatever you use for the charm bottles, and a bottle, this one is a very tiny bottle, but I have a big bottle there, um, Blue food coloring. My color is royal blue. As you can see there. Um, some clear glue and your bottle. Okay, so that's okay. My bottle is right here. All right. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna add. Oh, um, before I add the glue, I'm gonna add this which is my um gems and stuff like those so we're gonna add them in there make it nice and colorful and stuff put this up in there chopped one okay i'm gonna pick that up oops i'll pick that up Okay, so I'm going to fill it a little bit more, like, one more time, till the, not till the top, like, till about here, but I'll just put the ones that fell right inside, so now I'm going to close this, and now I'm going to add the clear glue, so you're going to go ahead, oops, and make sure you add your clear glue. Oh dear. Mine is a very small, tiny hole. I'm going to fill it like this much before I do anything else. Okay, so I dropped some glue on the floor, which I'm going to wipe off right now. Right, okay. So when it's like this, you're going to grab something to mix with. Oop, I forgot that. So you're also going to need something to mix with. Okay, I got something to not mix with because that's too big. I'm going to use... Okay, um... No, not this, no, okay. Um... It's too big for the whole spot. So... Oh, wait, let me just try my green band scarf, but these one I don't really need because I have a load of these. Oh, and I said that I was, in one of my videos, I said that I would link it to it, the name of my friend Sophie Hoffman in the description, but I forgot, so I will link it here. Okay, I think this would fit. Yep, it perfectly fits. So grab your blue food coloring, open it. And you don't have to dip it in there. You could just dip it in here, but I think I'll dip it in here. Yay! Here we go. I think this is enough. Totally. Make sure it goes in perfectly like this. And start stirring. Make sure you don't hit any of those, um crystal thingies down there so I'm not hitting any of those and this one I'm going to name this one mermaid tears ok so I'm going to just color in this and as you can see it is pretty neat ok it's pretty neat so I'm going to close my food coloring and because I only added a bit in there like little I'm going to add more glue and this time I don't need any more food coloring because as you could see there's already food coloring at the top so all I'm going to do now is add a little bit of glue just a little about a little bit more about oops um tap that down a little There's a bubble coming up. 
as you can, I think you can see that. Yep, you can. That's what I'm trying to pop. Okay, then I'm going to use the same thing that I used to stir for. I'm just going to remove that bubble. You can see it's going down. Some of it is. Okay, there we go. So, there. And now you're going to put on the cap. And because the cap is a little, not that blue, it's okay. Oops, I forgot to close my glue, so I'm going to close my glue. This is a short video and a very fast one. Okay, grab it. You could use any bottle. So grab it and put it in. There you go. This is your mermaid here, and you're also going to need some of a paper to write down mermaid here. I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to do that soon. Okay, this pushed it up. I don't know how, but yep, it did. Look at that. It's pushing it. Just going to push it down real tight. There we go. Okay, there we go. So this is our mermaid tear bottle. You could do any design. You could do it pink or whatever you would like. So here we are. And I hope you like comment down below which tutorial you want me to do next so yes i'll see you soon bye